We have international friendlies coming up this Wednesday, but the question is guys, will it be that friendly? We have some old enemies clashing here, England, France for example. Yeah, yeah, the, the old, old rivals. Um, trying to rebuild after World Cups. I yeah. mean, France was obviously a, a disaster World Cup. Yeah, England close to it, or? England wasn't much better, was it? But, um, I mean, France showing a bit of, bit of a revival. Well, they Three are. Three I mean, on the bench. Yeah, under Laurent Blanc, they yeah. do seem to be going on an upward curve here. I think the pace is for a strike to the Dominic. And actually, watch. when you look at the quality of the opposition that they've beaten recently, Bosnia, yeah. Romania, and obviously Luxembourg, not mm -hmm. so strong, but. You know, it's looking a little bit better than England, I thought, were woeful against Macedonia in the mm. last match mm. with that nil-nil draw. And I'm just wondering whether they're dipping back into those bad old days of the summer in South Africa, yeah. Richie. Mm. I was, uh, I mean, and look at the England side now, it's, uh, well, who is that? There's, you know, Rooney, Terry, Ashley, Cole, they're all out. Mm. We're going to be leading the line with, with Peter Crouch. Mm. And Carlton Cole. <laughs> and possibly even that glorious hammer, Carlton Cole. Lots of new boys in, Andy Carroll, Jordan Henderson, Jay Boothroyd, no disrespect to any of them, but I think... Doesn't sound too frightening. Well, it, even in the recent head-to-head -head strategy, the last four meetings, France have won three, there's yes. been one draw. They always mm. had that psychological edge over yeah. us. And, okay, throw in the Wembley factor. England have yet to lose mm. at Wembley under Fabio so Capello. Mm. But could this be the night where that... Uh, I mean, yeah. they've got a lot of class, I mean, Malouda, yeah. Sanya, the Arsenal guy, even, even he scored at the weekend. Yeah, Cliche, Nasri, yeah. there's no ribbery, but I, I think they've got enough here with England's, you know, maybe yeah. just relying on Crouch, Andy Carroll, he's a doubt. Yes. I, I can't, 3.3 and I'm not to score, yeah. might be a go. And France just to sneak it 1-0, 7.5. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for that. Low goals and you know England not to score 3.3. Yeah, you, you, know, you just I'm, cannot I'm back England. And certainly I'm opposing England. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so France have a big chance here. I think so. Mm, right. yes, Definitely. They do. Yeah. Talking about old rivals, Argentina is clashing with Brazil in Doha. Yeah. The ground. Yeah. Interesting as well, of course. Yeah, well they've both got new coaches mm. now and they're settling yeah. in quite well. Mm. You know, Argentina are... Strange form though, I mean they beat Spain 4-1 and then yeah. they lost their last game 1-0 in Japan. Mm, yes. So you sort of wonder sometimes yeah. about the psychology of Argentina going mm. into international friendlies. Mm. And um, well actually Brazil have won their last three friendlies without conceding a single goal. Yeah. So it's going to be a draw content. Well, you logically, you would. You, the question you ask, isn't it, Richie, is who wants this more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You look at the quality on show, and it's almost like, looks like a sort of exhibition match yeah. to me. Well, yeah. I mean, they've got the usual. Argentina got, you know, the experienced guys, Messi, Zanetti, mm -hmm. Heinze. What a line! Um, Absolutely. Ronaldinho comes back for Brazil. Yeah. He's yeah. three point five to score mm -hmm. any time, and but Peito, the Milan striker, mm -hmm. he's missing. Mm. So that would be a big loss. But I, I, I think Brazil might have a chance here. Remember in the World Cup qualifiers, they nearly put Argentina, you know, really on the rack to qualify for the mm. World Cup. They beat them 3-1 in Argentina mm. in their last meeting. Mm. Uh, you know, Argentina did get through. But again, two disappointed teams in the exactly. World Cup. Well, I know. So they're trying yeah. to build with these new coaches. Yeah. I fancy Brazil. Yes. Two point yes. seven is not yeah. a bad little price. Five of the last six head-to-heads between these two countries have been over two and a half. So, yep. and I think that I I can smell exhibition match mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking over two and a half at one ninety-five. And I know I'm getting a bit sore sitting on the fence. Mm -hmm. But um, the draw at three ten for me. Yeah, that sounds good. Portugal, Spain, neighbours catching there. Iberian derby. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, it's such an interesting game because Portugal are definitely on a sort of rising curve. Mm. They've got the new coach, Paolo Bento. Mm. They've just beaten Denmark and Iceland, both times 3-1. They're definitely improving. Mm. And then Spain, you just wonder if they're having that sort of... I mean, they've done nothing wrong in the Euro 2012 qualifiers, mm. but then they have that uh, international friendly away in Argentina and they got trounced 4-1. Yeah, yeah. mm. So you just wonder psychologically, yeah. the players are on the pitch, but mentally are they... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. really quite up for these, but they mm. should be up for this, this is a big game. Yeah, I mean Torres is an injury doubt, and Mata the Valencia midfielder, exactly. he, he will probably be missing. Uh, Carvalho is a, a doubt for Portugal, Yeah. but uh, I mean, but Portugal, they had the supplies in the last game, 4-4, four, four, a turn to Cyprus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, but we've got some stars on the show, we've got Ronaldo, 25 goals in Again, 78 it games. It just looks a fantastic and game David to, Villa, to watch, yeah. doesn't it? It's yeah. all the talent on yeah. show. Check out the latest team news, that's the best yeah. uh, info for you. Yes. Yes. Bet. Well, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm sitting on the fence again, a draw at 3.05. Yeah. Yeah. I like Portugal here, 3.8. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We see how it goes, plenty of matches to bet on, and maybe England ought to score at 3.30, that's the bet for you. That'll be the one I go for. <laughs> we'll see. Have fun, enjoy the friendly, some bet would expect. Thank you. Cheers. Pleasure.